Hi, Dr. Yoshiram here with Oasis Family Medicine, and I felt it important to share with you in case you have not seen the recent vitamin D with COVID uh, study that came out. It was a very good study. I Please check out the link that I'll provide in this email um, to <clears throat> check it out further, along with a link from Chris Masterjohn, who is a PhD and dissects the study exquisitely. Uh, but I'm just going to mention a few of the highlights. Basically, in Spain, they did a study on uh, people who had COVID-19 pneumonia who were actually already in the hospital. And there were 76 people in the study. 50 of them got high-dose vitamin D. 26 of them did not. Of the 50 that did get vitamin D high-dose, uh, only one of them ended up needing to go to the ICU. And they did not die, they eventually got discharged. Of the 26 people who did not get vitamin D, 13 of them, so 50% of them, actually needed to go to, the, go to the ICU, and two of them ended up dying. Now, these are insane results. You know, earlier, a few months ago, I, I've been totally on the, the get your vitamin D uh, and zinc at least tested and possibly supplement, probably supplement with those. I've been on those bandwagons since the very beginning of this pandemic and it, they were based off of um, a poor observational studies, but uh, you know, you could take some common sense from them and figure out the risk versus potential benefit. And that's why I've been on the vitamin D and zinc bandwagon. One of the first observational studies, again, not the greatest study in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but it came out in April um, and it basically showed the risk of getting severe uh, COVID infection was around 25 times X that those uh, who had good vitamin D levels versus those who had poor vitamin D levels. This study, this recent study was a randomized controlled trial very statistically significant. So a really, uh, just a really well done trial and super statistically significant. Again, you're talking 2% admission to the ICU in the vitamin D group versus 50% uh, ICU admission in the non-vitamin D group. That's 25X, that's 25 fold. So uh, this is amazing, totally stunning results really. Obviously this type of uh, Testing should be repeated, but I think there's more uh, Obviously it needs to be repeated. I hope they do it and I hope they do it quickly uh, Even if results don't turn out this bombshell amazing uh, I would suspect that they're gonna still show a positive benefit uh, for vitamin D supplementation um, It is important to note in the in that area in Spain the average vitamin D level was 16 that's in the general population. I don't know that in this study, if I, I don't think they actually had vitamin D levels on them before they started supplementing. That would have been nice to get to know, but um, I don't think that uh, information is available. Uh, so what is a good vitamin D level? Number one, if you don't know, get yours tested. This is still up for debate. This study does not uh, really point us in a good direction on this, but you probably want your vitamin D levels above somewhere between 30 and 40 uh, or, or higher, right? The, the question is what's the minimal value and it probably depends on overall health, um, probably ethnicity, skin color, uh, other COVID-19 risk factors like obesity, blood pressure, diabetes, etc. Um, but point is, is please test it and then please supplement to get your level, I would say above 40 um, under these circumstances and given these results. Um, super important to also take vitamin D with vitamin K2 and, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't take just straight vitamin D, even though that's what they did in this study. I, for many reasons, suspect that it'll be even better taken with vitamin K2. Um, again, I'm still on the zinc bandwagon, but only for those who are actually deficient in zinc. So I'm not, this is not a video telling everyone to go take a zinc supplement. My point is, 
get tested, there's downsides of too much zinc in your system also. There's downsides of too much vitamin D as well. Uh, so hopefully this is beneficial. I just felt the need to get this out to you um, relatively soon. Okay, Dr. Yoshiram with Waste of Family Medicine. Take care. Thank you.